Close your eyes and direct your mind to the breath. As the Buddha said, directing your mind rightly is, in a, is a blessing. We're born into this life with a mind that can go in any direction. It tends to go in lots of different directions. And because its energy gets scattered like this, we end up not accomplishing much. It's when we focus on something, saying, this is what I want to accomplish, and I'm willing to sacrifice other things for this. And you choose something wise. That's when your mind is rightly directed. So when a birthday comes, it's good to stop and think, am I still going in the right direction? Or do I need to make some course adjustments? Because the direction of your life, to some extent, depends on outside factors, things you did in the past. But a lot of it depends on how you're directing it right now. We have so many choices in life to do skillful things, very skillful things, somewhat unskillful things, very unskillful things. Lots of things are presented. And sometimes it's easy to say, well, I'll go for the quick, the quick fix, and then forget the long-term results of your actions, or not care about them. But if you're wise, you realize, my actions lead in a particular direction. It was that realization that got the Buddha on the path, realizing that the things he thought about would bend his mind in a particular direction. The image they use in the canon is of a tree. The tree leans over and it's bent over in a particular direction. If you cut it, it'll fall in that direction. So which direction do you want your mind to bend? We want it to bend toward happiness. We don't want it to bend toward a happiness that's lasting. And so we realize that we've got to sacrifice more time to work on the mind. And the nature of the body is that it develops and then it decays. But the mind keeps going. Even as the body is beginning to fall apart, the mind is already planning its next move. So you want to make sure that its next move is always in the right direction. And when the body is weak, sometimes it's very easy to be defeated by the weakness of the body. So you don't want to be defeated by that. That's why we develop strengths of character, determination, persistence, endurance. These are perfections. They head us in the right direction. They make sure that the weakness of the body doesn't weaken the mind. So even at the moment of death, and on days, on birthdays, you don't have to think about that. Wherever there's birth, there's going to be death. But as I would have said, there are those who come in darkness and go in light. Those who come in light and go in light. Those who come in darkness go in darkness. Those who come in light and go in darkness. So it doesn't matter how you come, but it does matter how you go. You want to go in light. So you develop the strengths of the mind, the strengths of the heart. And the Buddha doesn't make a distinction between heart and mind. They, the two of them are two sides of one thing. This heart-mind that we have to develop. So you want to direct it in the right direction. And make sure that it sticks in that direction all the way through. That's when the fact that you've been born becomes a blessing. Because you've been given a life and you've made good use of it. <laughs>